refuse to release me this minute, I'm going to file charges of false arrest. I have done nothing to warrant this kind of treatment. Officer found this on you. It happens to be my gun. Well, it certainly isn't mine. I took it away from your wife in the elevator. Why? 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 Because I didn't want to see anyone get hurt. And she was in a very panicked state. Mm -hmm. Would you like to tell me what you were doing here in the first place? Now, I don't think I understand your question. You want to know what I was doing in the elevator? I was going to the lobby. You see, I use elevators to go from floor to floor whenever I happen to want to get... Give me attitude, Philip. I don't want to hear it. I want to know what you were doing in this building. I was invited here. The station is doing a show on Vietnam, and they wanted to interview me. You can confirm that quite easily. Look! Look! I have explained already to your wife! That's fine. Explain it one more time to me. I was here for the show. I was also delivering this. It was intended to be a contribution to the rape center your wife wants to start. But let me tell you something. This is one hell of a way to treat donors. What made you say, I can see your face to her? Because I could. Look, is that such an extraordinary expression? Am I crazy or what? I knew that your wife would be frightened in a darkened elevator. I was only trying to reassure her that, that it wasn't totally dark in there. I could see that she needed some attention. She was on the verge of hysteria, damn it! Yeah, well, I can understand why. A hundred thousand dollars. Well, now, that's a, that's a pretty generous contribution, wouldn't you say? If you're going to be ungenerous, there's hardly any point for charity, isn't there? Is this your customary donation to worthy causes? No. This is especially for this cause. A rape center. Mr. Castillo, I have done a great deal of work with Amerasian children, and through my work, I have come across many cases of rape, and I have had to deal with the very ugly consequences of it. Homeless children doing their very best to survive in any fashion they can. This cause touches me very deeply. Well, perhaps that's the truth on the other end. This would be a perfect excuse, wouldn't it? Something you might have prepared ahead in case you needed an alibi? What are you implying? I'm not implying anything yet, but this does seem a bit strange to me, Philip. A bit too pat. You can't seriously suspect me of having done anything to your wife. This is outrageous! I have never been so insulted, such a suggest... All right. All right. I have put up with enough of this. I demand that you release me at once. I may not release you at all so you can save your demands. I have a mind to take you downtown and question you in more official circumstances, actually. Cruz, can yeah. I talk to you for a minute? Certainly. Excuse us. What? It wasn't him. Are you sure? I, I was scared. It's not him. Darling, you should be positive. You know, you don't have to let him off the hook just because he's making a stink. No, it, it's not him. And I'm, I'm really embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. You're free to go. Oh, boy. I'm not going to forget this. Follow that man wherever he goes. If you lose him, you're in a lot of trouble. Why are you following him? Because I am not 100% convinced that he isn't the man we want. Cruz, I know it's not him. I know it's not. Darling, you know, if you're going by his voice, you could have disguised that as easily as anybody. As far as I'm concerned, we're way past the point we can afford to take chances. 